America, America, oh, how you have fallen, oh, how you have fallen. While you continue to parade yourself in pomp and splendor, know your prestige and position hang in the balance and will remain but mere moments more. For soon your own evil will chastise you before the nations and your apostasy break your own neck because the fear of me no longer remains in you. Once your beauty was a marvel and your fruit bountiful, the spiritual sustenance that I used to feed the multitude you were called and chosen. You were set apart and elevated as the daughter of the Most High God the moment I adopted you and I took you under my mighty wings, says the Lord. You said, We shall serve no king but the Lord our God, and we shall serve the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob alone, and establish this land upon the truths declared in his holy word. But oh, how time has changed everything. How quickly you forgot your first love and the requirement of righteous devotion. How erroneously you forgot to teach your children my living words, who thus failed to teach theirs, and so on, entirely perverting their ways. And in this very way, you spiraled into darkness, falling for every trick and every snare Satan laid before you along the way, until, alas, your actions of obedience and to his influence allowed for his reign and rule over you. Your once grateful heart grew greedy. You began sacrificing your children for self-gain, your humility and meekness corrupted, evolving into man-made might. Reliance on me became folly in your sight and my word a joke intended to keep the poor in spirit contented. Surely this word does not apply to me, you said, for here I sit as a queen. I need not a king. I need neither lord nor master. But what you did not know, brazen and blind Vashti, is this, by thy words thou shalt be condemned. For the light had come to you, yet you rejected it and instead chose darkness and sin. You became a dwelling place for demons and a beacon of the false light of the God of this world, known as Lucifer, who starkly opposes the Christ who suffered and died for you. Yet, in blissful ignorance, you remain under the deception that you are still a great Christian nation while applauding every sexual immorality and every unclean act. You claim to remain under my blessing, yet your deeds are evil. Therefore, your shame shall come upon you in a single hour. But you say, surely not, for we have received the grace and knowledge of Jesus who gives us freedom and who yields nothing forbidden to us under the sun. Surely the favor of the Lord still rests upon us. But you, O oh, arrogant and defiled people, are destroyed by lack of knowledge. I sent forth my word, and I blessed you with it. Yet you chose to believe the lie that you may remain in perpetual sin, and you continue to laugh in the face of my holiness and my call for you to be holy as I am holy. Therefore, the world shall soon look upon you, no longer seeing the glorious icon you portray yourself to be, draped in royal robes and scarlet but as an orphan in rags to be pitied. Yet, in my great mercy, I appeal once more to you with a warning, O inhabitants of this wicked nation. Turn away from the accursed and return to me and my living words. Surrender all that does not profit and seek my son, with whom I am well pleased, for I have given all into his hand. Repent, therefore, and refrain from serving the desires of the flesh. For the day is coming quickly, burning like an oven, when all the world shall see the distinction between those who serve mammon and love the orphan daughter, Babylon the wicked, and those who love and serve me. Supporting Scriptures Joel chapter 2, verse 2, verses 12 through 16 a day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and thick darkness, 
like blackness there is spread upon the mountains. A great and powerful people, their like has never been before, nor will be again after them through the years of all generations. Yet, even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all of your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning, and rend your hearts and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love, and he relents over disaster. Who knows whether he will not turn and relent and leave a blessing behind him, a grain offering and a drink offering for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, consecrate a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, consecrate the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, even nursing infants. Let the bridegroom leave his room and the bride her chamber.